Hi guys, welcome back to Susana Hira YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss English stage 4, paper 1 non fiction with the past paper year 2023. Well, actually, this is still 2023. And this is paper 1 non fiction for Cambridge Primary Progression Test. Uh, the discussion will be in quiz form. You will be given question and Time interval to get your answer, and after that, you can check your answer and see the explanation. So let's get started now. And if you follow this video till the very end, we will display the full screen of the question. So you may take a screenshot if you would like to, and um, save it in your laptop for study or print it out for study or doing this quiz online. So let's get started. Well, in this uh, paper one, we have uh, additional material that is inserted to the reading, and total mark is 50. Time is one hour. First of all, let's uh, read the insert for five minutes. So this is the insert, paper one. So we want to get ten, five minutes to read this. It is text A. Part 1 and Part 2 and then there is text B so let's read text A for 5 minutes we don't have much time as since we have to answer all the questions so let's read from um, Part 1 for 5 minutes from now This is part two. That's it. Now let's see the question. Here we go. This is the question, and that is the insert given. Let's see for question one, section A, three minutes for this section. That uh, text A is to answer question one till eight. One till eight. Oh, so let's get started with the first question. Question 1, look at the first paragraph line 6 till 10, why has a comma been used in the first sentence? Tick 1 below is it to show speech, to express surprise, to separate clauses, to make a list. Alright, we are going to uh, have 10 seconds from now. Line 6 till 10 is circle in yellow. May I read and find the answer in 10 seconds? So we have got your answer. Uh, the question is why has a comma been used in the first sentence? This is the first sentence. So to show speech, to express surprise, to separate clauses, to make a list. So the correct one will be to separate clauses. So you go. This is our answer. Right. Uh, let's move on to the next question. Next, we move on to question two. 
the ancient Greeks took part in several cultural activities. Give one example of their cultural activities. Ten seconds from now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So the tips to answer this question is usually the answer will be located in in the according to the in orders. It means if question one is in line six to ten, question two may still be in the same lines or the next line after that. So the the question and the answer is always in order for English uh, test in Cambridge progression test. So we see several cultural activity. Um as in here, culture still the same line six till ten. And you got your answer? Let's open up the answer for two A. So the answer is the read literatures the real literature so here stated the ancient greeks enjoy a wide range of cultural activity they listen to beautiful music they read literature they ate exotic food just like us so one example will be read literature or you may also answer they read they listen to beautiful music or they ate exotic foods all right let's move on to to be here we go. Question two: We give one word that means unusual. Ten seconds from now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Let's uh, check it out. Let's reveal the answer. Well, the answer is exotic. Exotic is in here. It's still within the same line. Line two. Line six, seven, eight, nine. Line six till ten, the first paragraph. So, first and second question is within the first paragraph. Next, let's move on. Now we're in question three. Look at the third paragraph, which word links the information in the third paragraph to this information in the second paragraph. So, from first, now we jump to the third paragraph. Uh, check the third paragraph according to the instruction. Ten seconds from now. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Right, if you still not finish, you may pause this video. Let's open up the answer. Well, the answer is also. Let's check the word also in here. In the third paragraph, this is the third paragraph also. Is the word that links the third paragraph with the second one. Right, let's move on. Now we are in page three, question four. Look at the fourth paragraph. The writer thinks the governor of... Athens was good. Which word of phrase tells us this? So fourth paragraph, first, second, third, and fourth paragraph there. Alright, fourth paragraph has been circled in yellow. Fourth paragraph, uh, find the answer from here to, you're given 10 seconds. All right, let's open up the answer. Okay, the phrase is, you can imagine how well organized the city and government had to be is in this sentence. So that shows that the writer thinks that government of Athens was good. Next, we move on to question five. Look at the fifth paragraph. Give one connective which introduces an opposite idea. Fifth paragraph one, two, three, four, five. So let's circle the fifth paragraph. All right, uh, circle. So we got 10 seconds to find one connective which introduces an opposite idea. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
So if you have not finished, you may pause this video. If you haven't find the answer from the fifth paragraph, if you still need more time. So let's reveal the answer. So it's a uh, however. However is in here. Well, the Greek however did not. So this is the one connective which introduces an opposite idea. Many farmers who sold all traded their fruits and vegetables at market to get what they needed for their families. Wealthy Greek, however, so that is the opposite, did not need to work like the farmer and were able to send their children to school. Right, let's move on to question 5B. Where did craftsmen in ancient Greece learn their skill? Uh, still in the fifth paragraph, a uh, 10 seconds from now. Right, uh, if you have not finished, you may pause this video. So let's open up the answer. So for question B, where did craftsmen in ancient Greece learn their skill? You find the answer from here. And you have got your answer. Uh, let's check out the answer now. So the answer is at specialized school. So you see from here, some schools were specialized. So those teaching painting or school sculpture so that's where they produce skilled craftsmen next we move on to question 5c give a synonym from the text for skilled craftsmen so still in here 10 seconds from now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 1 you got your answer Let's open up. One hint is uh, usually a, the answer also it will be in order according to uh, the line. So if you got this uh, specialized school, then the next answer will be after this line. So this this one. So it's an uh, artisan. So here we go. This is our answer. Artisans. Next question five D. Give one example of a practical everyday item produced by craftsmen that was probably used in home. Still, the answer will be in the next line in order. 10 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, are you done with your answer? One example of practical day practical everyday item by produced by craftsmen that was probably used in the home. So it will be after this we'll find answer we skim the answer from here from the next line. Use everyday uh, practical everyday item. A everyday item used at home. It will be pottery. So pottery will be here. So let's uh, for the answer. So we are done with the answer. All three. Next, let's move on. Now we are in question six. Do you think it would be, it would have been better to be a farmer or a craftsman in ancient realistic one? Is a farmer or craftsman? Explain your answer giving evidence from the text. So, evidence from the text. So, farmer or craftsman. All right, it will be still in this paragraph. Uh, you've got 10 seconds from now about farmer and craftsman. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we got your answer. If you haven't, you may pause this video. Let's open up the answer now. Well, the answer for this is an open answer. You can answer farmer and give the correct evidence then you will be considered as correct or you can answer craftsman and give correct evidence then you will be considered as correct so we just give one example that we choose a farmer we choose farmer so let's find the evidence from the text farmers they could 
sell or trade their fruit and vegetable at market to get what they need for families. So that will be evident from the text. Let's type it down. Write this answer. Farmer could sell their fruits and vegetables at the market. Well, if you answer craftsman, you have to give the correct evidence from the text. It will be also correct if, as long as you give the correct evidence. And let's move on. Now we are in uh, question 7. There's paragraph 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we have to draw a line to match each paragraph with its main topics, with its similarities and uh, differences between ancient Greece and the modern world. Information about the largest settlement in ancient Greece, features of everyday life in ancient Greece, typical occupation in ancient Greece, what cities in ancient Greece look like. And we'll display this five paragraph. One, two, three, four, five paragraphs. Yes, all paragraphs is displayed. So this is first, second, third, fourth, and fifth paragraph. Uh, you may find the answer form here. So it will be given then. 10 seconds, and if you have not finished, you may pause this video. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right, let's uh, open up the answer. Here we go. Paragraph 1. Similarities and differences between ancient Greece and the modern world. You can see from here. Very similar, that's the keyword. Paragraph 2. What cities in ancient Greece look like? This one. Style of government. Most cities. Building in the center. So that's what cities in ancient Greece look like. Or second paragraph. Or third paragraph. Features of everyday life in ancient Greece. This is third paragraph. Market, Agora, people go to shop. Yeah. Paragraph 4 is information about the largest settlement in ancient Greece. Paragraph 4, biggest cities in ancient Greece. So that will be the keyword, largest and biggest. Next, paragraph 5, typical occupation in ancient Greece. There is a farmers or uh, craftsman. So that will be occupation. So that's all. Next, uh, number. Now in number 8, put these words from text A in alphabetical order. Some society, so and so, just, just according to the alphabetical order. Next. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, well, 0. This is just like an alphabetical order in a dictionary. Just arrange the word in alphabetical order. Let's open up the answer. Well, it will be so. Can you write societies? Society, S O C, and then the S O L. So, the S O L is S O M, some. Okay, next. Read text B in the insert and answer question 1914. We get the first paragraph. So, let's read text B for five minutes from now. Write five minutes. Text B. Alright, uh, that's it. The reading. Now let's get back to the question. Question 9. Look at the first paragraph to visit to the Acropolis changes the writer's attitude, attitude towards it. Give one quotation from text that tell us this. Uh, 10 seconds from now. Six, five, four, 
right, this is the trick. Usually, in the first question will be in the first paragraph. Next question will maybe the first or second paragraph. So the answer you will get the answer in order from top to bottom. So let's open up the answer. If you have not finished, you may pause this video. All right, this is the answer. Seeing it for myself though was a real eye opener. This one here. This is the sentence quotation. All right, let's move on. To, uh, question ten. Look at the second paragraph with one example of a. Quantifier, 10 second pronoun, second paragraph here. Right, 10 second pronoun. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right, I've uh, got your answer. Let's open up the answer. So this is an example of correct answer, a suggestion of correct answer. So you can have other possible correct answer for this. Uh, let's skim the text. All right, so, uh, our answer is taken from here, server, and then you can also answer, answer plenty of this is a quantifier uh, or lots of or all. So these all are correct possible answers. Let's move on to question 10b, which two word phrase tell us that the writer found the weather conditions difficult. Uh, still in second paragraph, scheme it. Uh, 10 second from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, well, I guess it's not too difficult from second paragraph, so you can find from here it was a scorching hot. So scorching hot will be the answer. So scorching hot, two word phrase. So we have to only answer two words more than that. It is wrong. So follow the instruction. Next question eleven. Look at the second and third paragraph. Second and third paragraph. Do you think um, the writers? Father is a good parent. Take one box, yes or no. Give evidence from the text to support your answer. Uh, that's in paragraph 2 and 3. 10 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right, if you have not finished, you may pause this video. It's information about his father, dad said. And all right, uh, the answer for this is a open answer. If you say yes, you give and uh, you must give the correct evidence. If you say no, you must give the correct evidence, and all answer will be marked correctly as long as it's connected with the evidence. So in here we choose a yes. So if you choose yes, we have to see uh, from second and third paragraph. Uh, the father he takes his son for on holiday, so there will be reason if you choose no you may write down uh, the correct evidence and if you need to clarify your answer please feel free to write down in comment section in susan hira youtube channel if you open this video through susan hira, susan hira youtube channel next move uh, question right now in question b the writer says mrs g is oh, this shock why the thing the writer says is 10 seconds from now Alright, uh, let's uh, write down the answer. So the answer is before this trip, the writer did not enjoy history lessons and Mrs. G probably knows this. So the proof is saying, I thought it sounded boring in the first paragraph and then after that, it, it was a real eye-opener and I never say I, 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 I say but I never thought I'd say this, but after today, I think I quite like history. I think I quite like history. Mrs. G will be shocked. So I, I think I quite like history after the trip. So before this trip, the writer did not enjoy history lesson, and Mrs. G probably knows this. Next, 
let's move on to question 12 the writer doesn't want to visit any more historical sites give one quotation from the text that tell us this 10 seconds 10 9 8 10 6 Well, the hint for this is uh, in the previous question we stop in here so the end for the next question will be after this will be this this paragraph so we skim from here given time and doesn't want to visit again so we just keep skimming and I mean history is great but enough is enough that will be the answer so let's put it down in answer slot so that it will be the quotation. I mean, history is great, but enough is enough. Next. Now we're in question uh, 13. Text is a diary entry. Give two pieces of evidence from the text that show it is a diary entry. So 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right. Uh, this is an example of correct answer. Do you have any other possible answer you may uh, write down the comment section if you need to clarify so first of all is start with the, the date here the date will uh, surely reveal that this is a, a diary and and the writer used a lot of you can see exclamation mark and then exclamation mark so the writer use uses a lot of exclamation marks so this is a diary or you can also answer this writer uses first person I. So let's type that down. Here we go. Uh, it starts with a day, Tuesday, 12 August. The writer uses a lot of exclamation marks. Next number, number 14. Would you rather visit the Acropolis or Santorini? Ticks one box, Acropolis or Santorini. Give one reason and one piece of evidence from the text to support your reason reason and evidence from the text uh, you should uh, give, give it according to your choice so if you answer Acropolis give suitable reason and evidence if you answer Santorini give suitable reason and evidence so 10 seconds from now 10 9 8 10 Six, five, four, three, two, one. Right, you may pause this video if you have not finished. So we have Acropolis, the prop, and Santorini is the black sand. Black sand. Where you can do water sports. So we choose. The easiest is uh, to choose is Santorini. The reason is. Well, we can say it's more fun than looking at historical sites because there is a some water sport uh, so black sand looks fun okay next evidence from the text right evidence from the text will, will be i can't wait to see and do some water sport i can't wait to see and do some water sport. so we quote uh, the the sentence the words from the story so quotation mark so that will be one possible correct answer. If you have another answer, you answer Acropolis, and uh, you need to clarify your reason. And again, please do so. Type down in comment section. Next, here we go. We are in section B. Thirty minutes for this is number fifteen. Today is your birthday. Imagine, and your parents and friends have organized a surprise birthday party for you. Write a diary entry for the day. Remember to use the convention of diary writing. This is space for your plan. So you plan what you want to write in here. This test is 25 marks, and there are two pages to write your response here. Uh, the clue and the tips for this and is don't write less than half pages. Of course, you have provided two pages. Try to write at least one or one and a half pages. You have to give a rele relevant response. Make a paragraph that are well organized throughout the text. Use suitable for vocabulary. Use correct grammar, punctuation, and spelling. So that's all for a maximum of 25 marks. Well, that's all for today. As we have promised, we'll scroll over the questions. So you may take a screenshot, save in your laptop, or print it out. 
while doing this quiz, so you may do so. This is the first page. Full screen of the first page. Now this is the second page. So you can still take a screenshot and save it. A bit of magnification. You cannot fit uh, in one page. So, okay, this one. Next, uh, third page, four, five, six. Next is page four, seven, eight, nine. So you can pause and take a screenshot. Uh, page 5, 10, 11, 12. Page 6, 11, 13, 14. And page 7, number 15. And this is the two pages for your writing. Remember, don't write less than half pages. So that's all for today. So today we've discussed English proficient test paper 2023, paper 1, E slash S4S01 question with answer, Cambridge Primary Stage 4. Please do check links in the description as we provide past paper for science, mathematics, English, for a second language from grade 3 to grade 12. Uh, if you click this button under the right bottom corner of this video in Susan here YouTube channel, you will be able to see all the useful links and just click and you will open up and don't forget to subscribe because it is free and if you ring the bell, you will be the first to be notified when we release our latest update. And like and share to anybody who might need this because it will be helpful to others as this is free resources. Now click this icon and subscribe button and you can get the latest updates from our uh, channel. So today's discussion is conducted by study with teaching online. Be careful for the subject and syllabus. Email us if you have any unsolved past paper. We will see what we can do for you. Of course, it will be in the queuing line. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring bell. And if you're interested to join our online tuition uh, with affordable price, please feel free to email us. Bye -bye and see you from now. See you in the next video. And God bless you.